Yeah. People have been like, yo, Ruben, where you been? We've been the last My sister got a dog five or six years ago, a miniature pincher, which she named Ruben. She had to leave him at home when she went off to school, though, and so he's basically my dog for four years. Minpins are notoriously stubborn and harder to train. I enjoyed the challenge. But what he lacked in behavioral skills, he made up for with heart and humor. Like the way he stumbled around when he first put the booties on his boss. He liked the jackets, though, especially the rain one. He despised going out in the rain, and in the winter, my goodness, could that dog shiver. Without some protection from the cold, those walks were short. And what better after a walk to curl up for a nap? He liked to curl up in a blanket. Actually, a few blankets if he could manage it. And when in doubt, there are always other things to give warmth. Like inside a pillowcase. Or underneath a couple of knitted scarves or on top of a pair of jeans that mysteriously were left on the ground. And of course, the sun. And on those instances where he couldn't find sleep easily, there was always a good book or a friend to cuddle with nearby. And yes, he did enjoy the comfort of sleeping with us. Now, the other half of a dog's life, other than sleeping, is playing. He had plenty of toys, most of which he tore apart and continued to play with. Ropes and balls seemed to last longer with him. Though he did get bored with toys at times. That never lasted too long. And while he didn't much like giving up his toys to us, he occasionally did share with his buddies, including cousin Arnie. But as usual, sharing with siblings is a little harder. His little sister Kiwi, for instance. He got along fine with other dogs in the beginning, whether it is the neighborhood friend Buster or random dogs at the dog park, which he liked to visit often. He always did meet some interesting friends there. However, he's not as small and dainty as other men pins. Breed standards limit the breed to a foot tall. His brother Cheerio, which they got this year, is closer to that standard. For a while, there was three of them. First, Kiwi was company for Reuben until he got tired of playing with her. Then came Cheerio to play with Kiwi and get her off his back. Literally. He was Alpha Dog and was grumpy when he didn't get his way. They needed space sometimes. And well, Chloe, our guinea pig, especially enjoyed that space. Now, unfortunately, as he grew older, the problems continued. It turned from just troublesome, not always behaving, to personality changes. He got to the point where he could snap at the other dogs, and even us, going into a fiery rage that would end abruptly after less than a minute. He wasn't healthy in his environment, even after trying to help him for that last couple of years. So my sister decided to give him up for a chance at life somewhere else. Despite that, I still remember him as a joyous part of